Um, so today, you've, um, um, I think it explains itself. Yes. This is you jumping to conclusions. Just too good at it. You need new shoes. Excuse me, I've had these since I was 14. I've cleaned them and they look brand new. It's actually, we're here to just do this. Yeah. So, what we're actually here to do today is... It's actually, it's in here. Actually, it's over there. <laughs> yeah. Alright, <clears throat> this, this thing right here is called a boost gauge. It tells you how much PSI you're running, how much super But power. it's illegal, which so I'm not going to hook it up. Tells you how much vape juice you're running. Yep, that's the real reason. <laughs> and the clutch is squeaking. The clutch is a squeaky boy. Yep, so go do it and I'll come record. Ah! Go. It's a squeaky one. What else are we going to be doing today? Did you see this? Not the bird shit, but this. Wait, the bird shit? Apparently, I touched it, right? <laughs> you can see that I touched it. <laughs> right, let me alone. What we're looking at is this, this tail light. We're going to remove that. It's a lot of walking around, you're going to have to cut all this. No, nah, I'll be fine. And we're going to try these ones. Now, yes, you might have mixed opinions, but yes, he's just having it on for you're about a week. upside down. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, he's he's going to have it on for about a week and just see if he likes it or not. So that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. If not, he can always get other ones, but he got those with the car. So, that's what we're going to do. First things first. Going to rip a stick? Rip a stick. <laughs> oh! I haven't played with one of these in ages. It's a bit unsafe, so I'm gonna go over here. Do you even know how to ride one? I did. I never owned one. I attempted to ride one. Alright, you ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh! I don't know how to ride this. And then you hop on, and then you <laughs> Okay. Go for it. Go on, show me how it's done. <laughs> That's nice. I need me, I need me one of those. But I do have a scooter, so I don't know. I don't know how to compete against this, you know. Are you gonna hide your supplies in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my tools. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> show us what we're doing. <laughs> we're taking this off. Well, this is what we're gonna do first. We're gonna take the lights off. Place it with those bad boys all the way down over there. Um, we've got to change some bulbs out of it. Yeah. We're going to work on these now here. We've got to unplug it. We've got to pull the bulbs into these ones, and that'll pretty much be it. It's a straight swap, slapping the bulbs in, and we'll see what it's like. We're going to get, we're going to get straight to it. Okay. I didn't do it. Okay, guys. Guys. We're doing the headlights, and we went behind down there. We dropped Sardic. Yeah, down over here, basically. Down here. Straight down in there. In the wheel Dropped. arch well. One of the fucking, what's it called? Um, Sockets. the socket, yeah. Yeah. So he reached his hand down, he grabbed everything but the socket. <laughs> what we found from the previous owner. What the hell? So I think they lost their 10 millimeter. The um, random um, negative screwdriver, negative, I don't know why I call it negative. A five cent coin, a bunch of screws, bolts, this thing for an amp. This for your tire. I oh, mean, and yeah. This is weight reduction, bro. Should I put my head in your exhaust? It won't fit. Well, I kind of want to finger your car everywhere now. Huh? I kind of want to like finger your car everywhere now, see what we can find. No. Oh, the headlights are on. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's right. They're on, by the way. The, it's all, it's Wait, all in. Wait, let's semi-close the boot. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm digging yeah. that. Crazy ones. I like it. I like it more. Especially from this angle. Mm. But I need the suspension. Reason why, the reason why it suits is because the car's black. Yeah, otherwise it wouldn't suit. This is where side of the golf went. Whoa! Not denying anything. You see those rims? That was slow, right? That's My golf was slow. It. Yeah, I did last night. But it's I ate dinner off here. Oh. You're still touching my car. Oh, sorry. <coughs> so the taillights are in. We're gonna yep. turn them on. Guys, wanna um go follow him, bug eye. The E at the end is a three. Give him a nice follow. He does up, basically what I do with my um, Project TDI on Instagram. Just building it, highlights, cruises, and everything that happens with it. But other than that, to get back to this, we decided, you know what? We've cleaned out the left and right. Let's clean out this. Took this out. There was a whole water patch there. 
all of this random stuff around and we just gathered even more and more crap. Bunch of screwdrivers, I'm not kidding, like that, four. Um, I'm not, sorry, five. Found five, um, don't even know what that is, something, but yeah. So now that we've hooked that up, we're gonna give it a test. You ready? You ready? All right. It's got the normal lights on. I'll do one light. Ooh, yep, they both work. Break. That's nice. Press the other side. I mean, let go and press again. Ooh, nice. So those inside, bottom right ones light up. Sweet. Um, next, reverse light. But yeah, so what we're doing, what he was doing, was getting the sub hooked up. This subby boy. What I was doing was on the boost gauge, trying to get that one up working. Took the whole bottom thing off, all of that to get over to it. And where he has this Turbo Smart thing, that's where you usually hook it up. But what we did is we blocked it off with a Coke can to make it flutter. Because when he does have this, it's not like tuned for it. So it's not good for the car at all. Before the drop comes, we're gonna... Is it working? I think it's amped for. That come with the car? Yeah. That one? Yeah. What about the one for the Forester? Same. How'd that one not work? Um, it has this problem here. The only reason we got it to work is because I got someone else to do it. They worked around it. Oh. Uh, and hooked it up properly. Because it's missing this bit. Oh, shit. So you, you got two fucked amps. Get in here and show you guys. This boost gauge I was trying to get hooked up. As you see, it's got the power lines there. Um, I'm not entirely sure because I've never hooked up a boost gauge on a jack. I've taken this whole down thing apart, trying to see like where I can, what I can find that's hooked up to it. This seems to be the power ones. This green one, red and black one. I'm not too sure where they even hook up myself. And yeah, for, for this one under the hood, um, you obviously need, you need to tap into the boost line somewhere so you can see how much boost you're going through the car. And on this turbo smart blower valve, you have to hook it up to here. Well, I looked at a quick video about, um, not hundred percent sure on what we can do with it. So we're just seeing what we have at the moment. There was the other boost gauge that was attached to this, this one here, but it has no connections, nothing at all. So I have no idea what's going on with that. But yeah, the boost gauge, until I figure it out, or till we figure it out, what we're going to do with that, we're not sure. He's, I'm not sure what you're doing with the sub. We're just going to take this all out for now. Yeah. So he's going to take the tire out, um, removed all of this, it's less weight. Taking the sub out as well, less weight. So in general, I guess the benefit that came out of this was tail lights and weight reduction on the back. And just figuring out the boost gauge in a bit more. So this date is done. I'm gonna put this stuff back in. He's finished up with the boot. That's gonna be the end of it for today. Any, you have anything it's to say? No. Anything to say? Mission semi accomplished. Mission semi accomplished because we did get a couple things done. Plus we know what's what now. Yeah, figuring stuff out more. I just know why the boost gauge wasn't working. Yeah, when you purchase a used car or an old car and it's been modified slightly, there are things that are gonna be different on it um, that are not stock things missing so you basically just have to learn the car that you just bought because like for example the aftermarket blow off has the piping we have no idea where that leads still trying to figure that out because we can use that to tap in with the boost to get the boost working two boost gauges in here one that doesn't even do anything i've been working on the boost gauge here these are the wires that i saw that came out of it the other end of it um don't know what's going on here i'm gonna grab this stuff and put it back in this is really simple, um, it's a bit dusty, but this is that pathetic boost gauge. This is where the OBD port went into, so straight back in there, it should just clip. That's all done. Removing it is the same procedure, you just get that little tool and you take it off, but I'm going to hide this in somewhere because it's connected to nothing, or I'll tuck it straight there, easy. That's for now, temporary, not permanent one this is for like the fog lights and all that's one thing we've got to check as well because your fog lights do not work mm. so we need to see what's going on with that 
Come on, man. Get that all in. So there's a th four plastic clips. Three, sorry. We're gonna. You gotta push those in at the top. That one's in. This side. There's that hole where this just comes out of. That basically keeps all of this up as you push it in, in and into place. That's a, pretty much the reinstall of that. Done. So that's all back in. We'll be back for this for part two. For now, it's just gonna be what we have here. And to that note, that's where we're gonna end it off here. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, subscribe. and enjoy my videos. Yeah. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one when we do more stuff with this car. Work hard and stay positive. So you find your way back home